what's funny? I've never heard this game talked about. Yeah, this is very obscure. It was incredibly obscure up until the moment it was fan translated a few months ago. There was like no footage or gameplay anywhere. Now a bunch of weirdos have played it. from Austin, Texas, where we're SACOM brained and Iblard pilled, whatever that is. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Have you taken your Iblard pills? No, unfortunately, our insurance doesn't cover it, and we, uh, the generic's not in stock. Damn, these should be some expensive-ass Iblard pills. It's $100 a pill? How? You know what? That's a bitter pill to swallow. Well, it's been a good stream, everybody. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Might as well just end it right here. Oh, we got a whole game to play. Hi, everybody. Yeah, we have to play a game. Oh, my God. We're returning to well-trod ground here tonight. Every so often, Retro Pals plays through a completely deranged adventure game from uh, a company called System Sacom. Mm -hmm. These are people who made uh, Mansion of Hidden Souls for Sega CD, the, the Saturn sequel to Mansion of Hidden Souls, uh, freaking, freaking Lunacy, freaking RMJ. You know, all those games, the best games we've ever played. The, the adventure games with all the, the stuff you love and none of the stuff you don't. I don't but know where I'm going with this. I, I'm looking forward to another Where's Drugs incident. <laughs> oh yeah, Where's Drugs. Man, so many great memories with System Satcom, and we're going to make many more tonight. Uh, Alex, why don't you thank some folks? I gotta thank some folks here. Thank you so very much to Arpega for the 45-month resub. Holy moly, welcome, welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Revenant, 42-month resub, good number. I'm ready for my best friend. Yeah, get ready for your best friend. He is Finfin. Fin. Yeah, Finfin Fin made his uh, pre-show debut tonight. Thank you, Revenant. Thank you, thank you, Fire Mountain, 34-month resub. Retro Pals, come and see them. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Capture Goblin, for the Prime sub. Appreciate that, appreciate Nice, that. thank you for the new sub. Appreciate it. Thank you so very much to a Cipher Cat for gifting us up for the community. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jamie VX, for the 29-month resub. That's a lot of months. Thank you so very much. And thank you, Cinco Play, gifting two subs to the community. Welcome to Sub Club, folks. Hope you enjoy your emotes. Just spam that Kermit H for us. And thank you, Rocket City Rando. One year resub. One whole ass year. Thank you. Thank That's a whole you. ass year. Thank you. And thank you, last but not least, Agort, <laughs> for gifting a sub to Stray Cat Rock. Welcome to the sub club. Enjoy your Kermit H's. Nice, nice. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so we've played a lot of System SATCOM games, but in the end, I think this one really loops back around to the early days of Retro Pals. This one harkens back to uh, the Adventure Pals days. Alex, do you remember when we played a game called um, Gabal Screen? Yes. Yes, I do. I love Gabal Screen. That is a game about a flying sneaker that uh, <laughs> investigates various surreal environments and yeah. you unlock videos from a, a Japanese uh, pop group or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was very strange. It was very system SATCOM. And what little I've seen of this game really resembles that game more than any of their other works. So I'm looking forward to this. This week's patron poll, we asked, which of these fan translated games do you want us to play through? I picked out three games that would all take like three or four hours to play, so we could get through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. This is how that turned out. Had a good variety of stuff on here. Portopia is, of course, the uh, the classic that I've never played through. Yeah. The first console-style text adventure game from Enix and so on. Oishinbo is a cooking-themed text adventure game that's kind of considered bakage in Japan. Has a lot of really strange ways you can end your quest instantly. A lot of really stupid moments in that game. But in the end, people clicked through to the uh, romhacking.net uh, entry for Iblard and found out that it's a System SATCOM game. And after that point, it was all over with. Yep. System SATCOM, as usual, ran home with it. I was hoping to give people some other options just in case they wanted to, uh, I don't know, maybe they thought they had enough System SATCOM for a lifetime. That's not true. We can never have enough System SATCOM for a lifetime. I was going to say, the audience's thirst for System SATCOM is never satiated. It's an unending thirst. It's kind of disgusting, but that's like you know, a that's like one of the levels of hell, I think, uh, along with the land of the hungry ghosts. You heard of that one? Um, isn't that Pumpkin Hill? 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. A ghost tried to approach me, you know. Yeah, what happened? Uh, he got married. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> All right, one final thing about this game. The first thing you're going to see in the opening FMV is a photosensitivity warning. That's also in our title. Um, there's something funny about this. I don't know if it's going to be funny in practice, but it's pretty funny in concept. The fact is, there's not a photosensitivity risk through the whole game. It's just in a couple of parts for fun, as a surprise. <laughs> Apparently, at some point, we're going to see a little elephant character, and I need to shoo him away. And the entire time he's going to make the screen flash like crazy. So hopefully I'll uh, I'll put up this in time. Okay. But just be aware, if you see an elephant and you're photosensitive, uh, make sure to look away. Okay, let's do it. Iblard, Lapita no Kairomichi. In English. Igor, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. Yeah, combat cars kicked ass. Thank you for that. Man, I can't believe we're doing another system sack on I here. know. They're just so perfectly spaced out. It feels like every nine months or so. Mm -hmm. We give birth to a beautiful... Uh... Exactly, yeah. I was going to go with the birth analogy. I'm glad you followed through. I just... I've been thinking a lot about it. What can I say? Woo! We'd love to see it, yeah! Our neighbor completely annoyed. Oh, they're playing another freaking system Sakon game. Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? In fact, this particular artist is pals with uh, Mr. Ghibli. Uh, Ghibli. Mr. Giblets. Could we see the hatching of a new Laputa? Could we? Wow. Here we go. Incredible. Let's give birth to an island, baby! <laughs> so the Inoue in the, the copyright down there refers to a specific surrealist painter. Apparently all of his works take place in this uh, city he dreamed up called Iblard. All of his work all links together. And uh, this game is an expansion of that particular uh, dreamscape, I guess. So System Satcom is definitely the people to approach for this. Yeah, they're good at being surreally and dreamy. This That's game is art. It's literally art. You're going to experience art tonight. You're going to feel something. This is just an apartment complex. Oh, he's growing. Damn, dude. Get good. Skill issue. Consider a miniature greenhouse. Mm-hmm. Maybe you have the plants faced right towards the window instead of being on a shelf? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess that would help. <laughs> Cartman, thank you for the 100 bits. It's Laputa. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's how we pronounce it. It only means one thing, and that's Floating Island. <laughs> don't go around Austin asking uh, for Laputa. <laughs> Or do it. I'm not. I'm not in control of how your night goes. Yeah, yeah. All I can think of when is the best buy bag of dirt. No, that's that's Puto, not Puto. Puto. Okay, no, Puto. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, cool mole. Whoa. Is that Finfin? Fin? Hello. They they can be my new best friend. Sorry, we've been Finfin fin pilled lately. Oh my God, the frog. Mr. Mole and Mr. Frog are here. Just just walking me across the street. They're dressed nicer than we oh. are. Mm -hmm. Oops. Idiot. The oh, fuck, she's gonna drop a lapta on her head. Uh, no! 
今のは一体これはビッチャーリッチャーリッチャー You ride the bug bus?、Uh, I'd rather ride the cat bus. Okay, that's fair. The cat bus chases the bug bus all the time. <laughs> I hate to be on the cat bus when that happens. <laughs> Starts careening all over the place, climbing up on the walls. One thing that may shock you, if you're familiar with System Sacom's games, is this is not FMV driven, this is 3D polygonal. Which is why I thought it was most similar to Cabal Screen compared to the other games we played of theirs.、Mm, okay. It's largely exploration driven. It's apparently like three hours long, so I hope to get through it tonight. I was gonna see another Retro Pals promise. If it's, we always take like twice as long. Your public transportation isn't veiny and pulsating? I think you're missing out. Oh, nice, it's like the Disney trams. I want one. Alright, you're free to go! This is a first person adventure game, which makes me very scared, <laughs> considering what System SACOM is capable of. I have no idea what to expect. This is a blind playthrough for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, okay if we gotta go somewhere, we gotta go somewhere else. I wonder if you can die in this. You can die in Mansion of Hidden Souls. You probably can't, right? This is like a, a fantasy themed、yeah. dreamscape. You got a map. But if you find a guy who's turning people into butterflies, you best fucking run. Cool. Oh no. Well, <laughs> settle in, folks. Hope you like watching me get lost. Well, I like the environment. Oh, you can strafe. It's fancy. Whoa. Cool. Nice pillars. Did your mom make them for you? Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Those do look like giant foil wrapped burritos. I can、yeah. die. I can die in this. I just lost health. Oh,、uh, watch I out. I didn't know it was that kind of game. Oh, my God. I was getting ready for a nice. <laughs> nice serene playthrough of this game, but. I guess there's death in this. Laptas? Are they mini laptas? They're, they're, like, they're like spaceships. What do I eat to regain health in this, do you think?、Um, I'm hoping eggs. This seems like a game that would have a lot of eggs in it, you know what I mean? Yeah, this seems like a very pro egg game. Yeah, yeah, there's just something very, very egg like about it. This reminds me of the opening part of Alone in the Dark 2, which I really like. Hopefully, this is just as good. I looped back around. I was gonna say, I think you went backwards. Okay, we are. Where are we? I think we're just above that row of trees, actually. Yeah, where are you? And we gotta navigate to that point in the maze. Let's just keep going north. Okay. Giant flying burritos. <laughs> Which one of those would fly directly into my mouth? Do you want Chipotle, honey? Yeah. Yeah, Chipotle sounds good. So if I follow the map right, it would be over. <laughs> I got grazed. It crunched you. I see. Oh, there's two of them. That's why it、uh, circles so quickly. A little bit of LSD in this, too. The drug and the game. Okay, I can see that. Hey, you found the. Is that a squid? Cool, it's pulsing. 
God, this is so good ball screen. You just find something weird and then it goes flies off. And the game's like, hey, have fun trying to figure out what just happened. You like that? Hey, it's health! Give oh, me that. It's a little star. Nom, 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 nom. That did look kind of tasty. Uh, there's a way to. Yeah, okay, we can actually look up and down. It takes a little bit of doing, though. This tree looks like one of those kids' toys with the, the donuts. Yeah, yeah, it does. It also kind of looks just like donuts. Another thing I'm craving. I'm craving a lot of things. Hey, squid. Cool. Yeah, what is that stuck in the tree? Yeah, this is serving um, virtual high glide. Totally. Can we get closer? Can you? Looks like you're getting closer. Ooh, ooh, this has got to be something. Is this something? Oh. There's a freaking spire in the way! They fucked up! They put a spire just right in my pathway! You, you'd think that they would have mapped it out first, but, you know. It's supposed to go on a castle, guys. How's the volume for this game, by the way? Should I turn down the ambience? I turned it down just a little bit. Okay! There was... No, no way. Is this really a tie-in OVA that, that was made for this game? Cool. Yeah. The System SATCOM OVA. The o it's by Studio Ghibli. Of course. Uh, the OVA is 30 minutes long. It consists primarily of, you know, uh, fantasy paintings of the Iblard world. Studio I see. Ghibli initially animated portions of the paintings and integrated original elements into the scenery. So some of this may involve lots of wandering because I have no idea what I'm doing. So just be patient. I'm sure this game will pay off. It's supposed to be calm and I'm calm and relaxed. I am very calm and relaxed. There's a bunch of delicious things floating around that I want to eat. Yeah, me too. Like, I had a really good dinner. It was potato with, like, really good bacon on it. But, like... This game is just so delicious looking. I just can't help it. I'm just taking it all in. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> okay. Okay, we can't okay, go up the other okay. way. Yeah, I was wondering if you could go back and forth. It's like I haven't stopped playing Etrian Odyssey. I put like 30 hours into Etrian Odyssey 2, the new Steam version. That's cool. Is it worth it? It's so good, dude. Huh? Can you push it? Oh! It made a noise when I bumped into it, so... Uh-huh. Oh, I hope that turns a real one. I think there's some kind of logic in place here. Sorry, I'm brain poisoned. I'm strafing everywhere. <laughs> I was going to say, you're, you're real into strafing. <laughs> I'm saving time. You imagine this game is very minty? Yeah, no, I'm also getting a very mentholated uh, flavor from this. This game is mint flavored. Mm hmm. It's the new ports of the adventure gaming. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't seen Castle in the Sky, come to think of it. I'm sure this, this is similar, but, like, not related. Similar in the fact that there are floating islands. Bok Bok Bagok, thank you for the bits. I thought we played Pulse Man. We did it for Mascot Friday many years ago. Is that speaking of uh, photosensitive games? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that game is. That game needs to, to tone its shit down. Mm -hmm. 
えそういうことだそんな待てよ Yeah, the voice is by Lunacy Larry, exactly Oh, we have to find a rift in space time That should be easy Oh, the island's hatch Not my problem. Milk and so. I hope we don't need to know these exact names. We got a lot to problem. Mm -hmm. How do you take down a floating island? I guess you boomerang. throw a boomerang at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why has it got the poly colors on it? It's cool. <laughs> Why do we need to know the boomerang is Polly? Well, do you do you do you not like pansexual pride? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 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 your aunt. Oh, I see how it is. I'm gonna judge you now. All right, I'm okay. being judged for my words and deeds. That's that's fair. I can't memorize every flag. Yeah, the polyamory flag is ugly, which is a real shame. It should be pretty. Although it, it should have better colors. We're being pushed by the current. I you can't are. Advance. You're being you're being pushed against the rocks. That's no good. Can you run in this? I wonder. Let's try the buttons. This is running. Is this running? They need a variety streamer's pride flag. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't know this had combat. I think if there's a run, it's very subtle. Okay, we can get, get past that place. What's the seam here? Is there a hidden secret, or is it just bad graphics? It's bad graphics? I guess so. Okay. Uh, up the stairs. Are you going to where that one place was? Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. I think we can advance now. Yeah. What's with the little step stairs? It's like those stairs you get for... Oh, so the flag is better now! Did they improve it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have the pie symbol on it anymore. It had the pie symbol on it. it. I don't like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just... That's that's just, again... That that again also insinuates it leaves you at 3.14 people you can do. I think some, some of the chat already said that. It's not fair. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Am I about to do a genius move? I'm a genius. You are smart. Get it. It's a, it's a banana runt. Ooh, banana. When is the last time... I mean, Moonstone. The last time I had run stew. You gotta find one of those vending machines that they have at comic book stores. That just Simon, oh my god, I missed it again. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Simon, for the bits. In fact, that may or may not be fun. Iblar spelled backwards is Dralby, which sounds kind of like a curry meat dish. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for the it bits. Is, it is serving Galby. Thank you about that. Sorry I missed it. Hmm. There appears to be a cylinder accessible ramp here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My brain is slowly... The gears are slowly turning. I think something might belong there. Why is a moon painted on this altar? You know what's funny? I've never heard this game talked about. Yeah, this is very obscure. It was incredibly obscure up until the moment it was fan translated a few months ago. There was like no footage or gameplay anywhere. Now a bunch of weirdos have played it. There they go. And they just left! 
It's time for the Chipotle convention. Oh, they're going to do a sick jump. Oh. oh, they're friends. Oh, okay. They're nice now. You want to join your friends? Can you hit with a boomerang? No. Can it hurt me? It can. Danny! <laughs> It's it's poisonous. It's so mean. Um. Oh, it goes back oh, and forth. Okay. I didn't know there was platforming in this. All right. Yeah, shout out to fan translations of weird stuff like this. You really. I can't keep up with it now. There's so many, so much good stuff coming out. There are. It's really cool that fan translations have gotten big enough that all the people are like. Can we can we can we translate the freaky weirdo shit now? I'm just glad that everyone's focused on System Sacom now. Yeah, I actually am really happy about that. Thank you, fan translators. I'm giving you a a salute right now. If you could see it, you cannot, but it's it's. I'm happening. hoping I'm hoping for a Rampo translation soon. Make it happen, folks. I know you got it in you. Yeah, or a Sega Gaga translation. Mm, that. That will be the day. It will when I finally see Sagagaga translated. That will be the day. I don't know what the day will be, but that will be a day. All right, level one complete. What would have happened if I died back there? I'll have to. I'll just have to wonder. Bok bok bok. Thank you for the hundred bits. It's they true. Nintendo would still be holding Mother Three over our heads, dangling mm -hmm. it. If it had not been for the brave fan translators. All right, you're in another forest. That's cool. Tell you what, since we do have this technology available to us. Yay! Oh, yay! Thank you, Danny. Let's I just am go ahead and... flapping my hands in joy that you remembered that, because that would have sucked. Ooh. Seems like where the evil elephant would hide. You think so? No. I'm... This is making a nice ambient noise in my ears. Yeah, I like this. Is this like being in an MRI? No! No! They don't make gentle ambient noises in an MRI. MRIs sound like someone is... You know the. You know when your neighbors are putting up posters? Yeah. And they, and they hammer on the wall? and But for imagine that, except louder and right next to your ears. Good news, everybody. It's a Resident Evil game. Yes, we have a valve. I hope we find a crank. The crank's playing the game. Waka, waka, waka. The only thing I'm not cranky about is System Sackham. I was going to say System Sackham. You can't be that cranky. I wonder if the whole game is like this. Just a series of small areas where it's so small you can't really get lost and you just investigate until you go forward. I see what's cool the fish head. What's the big fish head? I want, I want fish head, Danny. Looks like we go through this middle area. And maybe at the north we turn some kind of system to make a, a path appear? That's what it looks like. Cool tree hole. This is kind of like LSD Dream Emulator, only it's like pastoral and calming instead of terrifying. That's also why I keep strafing around the corners, because I keep expecting to see enemies. Oh! 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 See? See? I was right! You were right! Okay! I bet this is a thing you have to turn. That, that just seems turnable, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's one of these gimmicks. These bats are cute. I wonder if they're hittable. Maybe they're not. You know, I bet they can hurt me, though. I bet they can. Up, up. There you go. There you go. What if this has really gory death scenes? <laughs> that would be really funny. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, oh, oh fuck! God. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, I can see the the similarity. A, I can. A, that was a, cool. Whew, I was freaking out there. I was gonna say, TJ, I can see the similarities to uh, Kingsfield here. This is actually... That was a realistic depiction of what would happen if a boar started charging me in real life. I'd just start backing up and go, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe our boomerang will be useful on this beast. Nope. Oh, oh. oh woo. okay. Did you see the way he just kind of flipped and flopped and flew? <laughs> That's cool. The three Fs, flip, flop, and fluin. That's what feral hogs do. Yep. 
you just bounce into a new dimension. See, you don't need firearms to deal with a, a hog. Mm-hmm. Just get a boom. Just get the pan boomerang. Are you? Hmm. Okay. That bush. Hey, you're in a secret area, baby. Oh, 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 oh. I see a valve. Oh, 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 I think I know what needs to happen. Do it, do it. This is the perfect game for my child brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you add, go to the other side? Is there a spot for a thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, here we fucking go. Yeah, yeah, the nature look here is really, really good. It's It looks really good for PS1. Mm -hmm. It's quite lush. It's a water tank. Hmm. Maybe you turn the other one? Hmm. So maybe they need to be in a certain position we don't know yet. That's what I was thinking. There is yet to explore, yet more to explore on this island. Yeah, I'm going to go back and look at stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, that's a position it used to be in. Okay. This is neat. I like these kind of yeah. intuitive puzzles. It feels like The Witness. Very forward thinking. So what do we do with the other one? Maybe it needs to be in the same position? Could be, could be. Oh, oh, there we go. Lucky guess. It is! Thank you! Is this a sluice? Is this what a sluice does? It does. It uh, Sluices are known for uh, helping you solve puzzles in real life. That's <laughs> that's all I know sluices from. I've never encountered one in uh, in real living. Oh, well, we did something. I wonder if you can see real life sluices in Austin. Just be like a sluice tourist. That's the thing about The Witness. It's an actual good game. <laughs> you can you can hate the maker, but that game's actually kind of okay. Is it pronounced sluice? It's sluice? The sluice is loose. The sluice is loose! Yeah, we're the sluice sleuths. Sluice and the sluice. I can't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> my mouth just started fucking You've stumped up. Alex with your first time chat. Good job. <laughs> Okay, you can go down. Not there, but 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 there's a little pathway down. Go go uh see it? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. It's exciting. This is strangely exciting. Yeah, no, I'm into this. This is like... so sparsely populated. Every single unique element you see feels like it has an impact, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Simon, for the 100 bits. My favorite regional burger is the Sluicy Lucy. This, you know? I'm being, I'm being pushed around by a turtle. Where are you? Smart ass. <laughs> Rude. Well, the, oh, 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 oh. Do you think that turns the... Oh. Oh, so you can go. Oh, okay. So you don't turn it. You just... I love this. This is Babby's first adventure it game. It is! I like this. We can figure this out. This game makes me feel smart. Mm-hmm. And it gives me a boomerang. I think more adventure games should give you boomerangs. I think you should be able to stomp on the turtles. Well, not at... And, like, kick them and do combos into other enemies. No, I mean... The bats can't hurt you, by the way. You just you just want every game to be Mario. What if it's Mario behind the, the camera eye? What if he's filming all this? So, like, we're all seeing this through the... So, like, everything is through the eyes of Mario? Yeah. 
some kind of big meta commentary about... You could say that all video games are through the eyes of Mario. What are you? What are... What? Those are spinning fish heads, it looks like. <laughs> okay. It makes a good noise when you hit stuff in this game. I like the conking, game. yeah. Thunk. Let's see if we can knock out all three at once. Ah! Full time. Hey! They didn't kill you! That's nice of them. Yeah, that actually is very nice. Oh boy. You're fine. You will survive. I didn't know there was holes in this. Have you seen the movie Holes? I have. Have you read the book Holes? Yes, I have! The book is way better. I have nothing, I wish I had something to say, but the book, the book didn't have, have a rap about the movie. That's true. You do have to consider that. Will you, <laughs> dickweed. I wish more video games had novelty rap themes. There's not enough of them. Like, we, we put Maybe on... this one has it. Yeah, no, no, I want to hear, like, it's Iblard, you know what it is. You're gonna have a real good time. Sorry, we... Danny, don't give me that look. Come on, we, we put... If, if you missed our pre-show, we put a a, a a new song in it about Fin Fin, and they, they rap during part of it, and it's a really good rap. We're gonna have a real good time. Yeah, no, no, it's like that, and I was like, you know... It's it, like that. It is like that. Come on, it's not better than that. Okay. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You got another moonstone, baby. We got a second banana. The pit was just, it was right in front of the freaking health pit. That's so mean. System SATCOM. I love System SATCOM. I do too. This game is so ambitious for them. It feels like more ambitious than Cabal Screen even because it's dedicated to a specific aesthetic instead of just weird bullshit. Which I'm also fine with. Sorry, I was just thinking about if I got a Post Malone style face tattoo, yeah. but if it was System SATCOM. Well, it could be their logo. It could. People would, inst people would instantly recognize it on the street and they'd be like, oh my god! Yo, Mansion of Hidden Souls! Yeah, I... <laughs> like, have you tried to pull out? I'm like, just streamed it, bro. And I'm like, yeah! They'll say to me in line at Chipotle. Yeah. Hmm. Is that... a kitsune? Bark, bark, daddy! You gotta put it in the banana! <laughs> Don't hit me! Come on! I'm just a dog. I thought he'd go fetch. Oh, that's fair. Oh. Burgerlad? Burgerlad! Let's go to Burgerland. Oh my god, I want to go there. Danny, do you have any kind of specialty burger that you've been wanting to eat your entire life? No. Okay. For How about me, you? it's the green chili burger in New Mexico. I've... I want that in a Juicy Lucy. Also, there's a burger, I forget the region, where they put peanut butter on the patty. I want to try that, too. What is this? Whoa, it's a worm. Watch out. Uh, don't hit the worm. Oh, no, there's butterflies. Fuck this. Fuck Yo, this. Oh, my God, we saw We got to go home. We got to go home. <laughs> Fuck this. No, this is bad news. This is really bad news. We got to go. We got to go oh, right now. I'm not God. staying here. No, 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 no. Oh, oh sorry, man. Honey. You gotta look at them. Oh, jeez. Fucking, uh, we ended up in Butterfly House again. You said this wouldn't happen. I didn't say it. Please uh, watch our previous Mansion of Hidden Souls episodes to find out why, why we're so upset about butterflies. <laughs> Who's blocking me? I think the lizard was. It's broken. Will it ever run again? It's a rock. Oh, the kitsune is here. Hey, you. Give us some shit. Hey, what do I do? Yeah, we're st- Oh. Okay. Thanks. 
there's a giant okay, man. Okay, you're a guy. Well. Hey, Gramps. Uh, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, Wicker Man. You, you're not going to hurt me, right? This isn't like a golem from Mansion of Hidden Souls situation. Wait, I can make a nerdier joke. I hope it's a gentle giant. <laughs> what is it saying? A forest language. He's yet. Maybe he communicates through boomerangs to the head. You go fetch. Hunter bits from Cartman, yeah. Oh, oh, oh green giant. <laughs> Thank you. Friend. Oh, it's another rail pass. So we can get on the other. Okay. He I is a friend. One. Yes, I'm referring to the prog band. <laughs> I'm sorry you got that. He kind of looks like their mascot. He's made from hay. He's a he's a hay golem. You could set him on fire. Hay golem. <laughs> Danny. Well, it's Pride Month. <laughs> All right. I guess we can. Go on the tram and continue our adventure. There's a broken one here. That makes me wonder what significance that is, but maybe we'll find out later. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, girl. <laughs> Cartman, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. <laughs> they would have the grass giant at Coachella. That guy wouldn't last five minutes. People trying to sneak tokes off him. Is this the correct way? No, it's actually the other it's way. It's the other way, yeah. I think. Jolly Green Giant got its account suspended? Oh, because of the, the, the famous tweet. Yeah. He should be able to say what he wants. I think he should say whatever. Even if it's uh, even if it's offensive speech, it's protected speech. Yeah, uh, all corporations shit, have protected shit. speech. Watch out. Oh, God. He grazed me. I think, uh, I think I'm bleeding. Bam! What tweet? Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Can I just... Can, can I you use, use the rail pass? Can I use my pass? <laughs> yes, that's the one. Alright, here we go. Level 2 complete. Hey now, you're a hey now. Get your game on, go play. <laughs> Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Don't dream it's over. It's in the quiet forest. Everyone be quiet. Okay. This place looks cool. Thank you for saving. This looks like a, a pile of trash. Yeah, it looks like a landfill, except yeah. except beautiful. I wish landfills looked like this. Hey, little guy. You didn't tell me there'd be dinosaurs in this. There you go. It's so funny how we haven't seen any flashing lights whatsoever in this <laughs> game. I'm, I'm all prepped and everything. Danny can attest. I, I actually like took a nap before the stream. I hydrated. I made sure. So far, so good. Although... I just know it's going to pop up any time now. <laughs> this looks like kibble my cat vomited. Big <laughs> praise from the chat. <laughs> Alright, is that its family? What are you doing? You playing Mahjong over there? They're playing something. Oh, they're eating watermelon! Give did me you, that! Give did me you that. know it's watermelon season? It is? Yeah. Dinosaurs were just here. Nick Chaotix, thank you for the sub. Thank you! We stay, hydrated stay hydrated and stay quiet. <laughs> What's the significance of the watermelon? The significance is that it's delicious. No! Whoops! Should I have not? I don't know. The music changed. Hey, mom. I was just, I was just playing. We're fine. How do I go in the house? 
Oh, it's a it's a rear entrance kind of situation. Thank you, Simon, for the 100 bits. This is the work of a mad god who's decided to see what would happen if he made a world entirely out of fruity pebbles. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see it too. Man, I can't have fruity pebbles. They're way too sweet. Unbeatable. Mom Dino is made of stone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! It's killing the shit out of me! <laughs> hey, uh, you, I'm really glad you save stated because you hell died. <laughs> Well, we've turned into a stone. No, wait, that's the... Is that the the being? I think that's the evil elephant. I did deserve that. I was... Sorry. <laughs> it clearly warned me, and then it just immediately trampled me. All right, let's start that segment over. Okay, we have risk of death in this. You can indeed die if you uh, disturb a raptor's children. Yeah, chat has no sympathy for you dying, and frankly, I don't either. Cartman, thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> that's that's what happened. That's what killed me. Okay, so don't mess with the Raptor kids. Don't mess with Texas. Did I get anything in that area? I don't think I did. I just found some watermelon on a table. Yeah, the fact that this is based... It's divided up into levels like this, and they're all small environments. I wish I'd seen more of these games. This really does feel like a... I was gonna say successor to a uh, Gabal screen, but I think that's actually after this. Can I squeeze through here? Nope. God, it really does look like fruity pebbles. Yeah, I'm also seeing this chewed gum. I see that. Oh, hey. Look what I found. Simon, thanks for the hundred bits. Thank you. Try again. Can be anagrammed into Gay Train. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> Oh, hey! Can I go in? Aha! Look what's in there. Ooh. We need that. We got it. What the? He greened me for a second. Hey! We got a map. It's an iPad. Alright, what's the damage? Simple area. Okay. Seems to be some kind of dinosaur village. Yeah, it would be cool if you could play Mist like this. Just wander around and hit dinosaurs. Can I break your windows? How did you make how did you make glass? Uh they have fire breath, so they were able to superheat sand. I see. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Just don't think about it. What's the significance of these three trees? Can you smack them? Oh, the, um, yeah, I, I touched this thing so we can go uh, through that area. Oh, area oh, now. cool, cool. I, Alex, I love this game. This is great. This is everything I want from Systems.com. Just moving, uh... It could use a little bit more live-action FMV. That's fair. A la Rampo. But, uh, what's you, here is, what here is good. You just want Rampo. I do. On a rampage. <laughs> Don't hit yeah. the trees unless you want to get hit hit by an angry tree. <laughs> <laughs> the trees have moms too. Mm-hmm. Hey. While dinosaurs in this forest are timid, you mustn't get too close unless one approaches you in a friendly manner. Feel free to either observe them from inside the huts or leave fruit out for them. Careless or brash movements around the dinosaur young will likely upset their mother. We found that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. We, we discovered that. We should have read this first. Note, dinosaur mothers will kill the absolute shit out of you if you mess with their young. Because they're dinosaurs. I'm glad there's dinosaurs here. It doesn't really explain it. There's just dinosaurs. Hey, I'm glad they're here too. All right, we need that rail pass. But first, we need to, uh... Hmm. 
but I guess we need some fruit to distract the, uh... Yeah, we gotta distract to the a dino. Pass, yeah. yeah, girls can be friends with dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some girls are dinosaurs. That's true! I'm assuming a lot of them are VTubers. What if I... Can I pick this up? Yeah. It's over here. Ha 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 ha! There's fruit! Okay, so you need to go around to get the fruit. Who's in here? Oh. Uh, it's just an outhouse. <laughs> I thought we were going to meet the mole again. Oh, man, it looks like a floor of an arcade. <laughs> oh, God. Just look All away. Right. Look I'm away, everybody. Away. Okay, I'm going to fight off the elephant. The okay. screen is flashing like crazy. They were not lying. <laughs> get out of here, elephant. You get out of here. Don't, don't kill my stream. There's nice people here who don't want to have a photosensitive issue. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. No one likes useful. you. Go away. Oh, it's flashing like crazy. I gotta look away. Whew. All right, it looks like it only flashes when you get close. So maybe if I just leave it be. There it is. There's the, there's the bastard there's of the, the world. There's the bastard. That's so funny. There's no photosensitivity issues in this game, except for, except for you. You. You silly thing. How do I chase it away, do you suppose? Oh, God. Hmm. Is this a different house than the one we entered? Is it? It is. Okay. There's that freak, that freak. Look at him crying, he deserves it. The Megazo are considered some of the strangest fairy beings of Iblard. It's said that any magician or singer who encounters one loses the will to perform. Yeah! <laughs> Countless theories exist to explain the Megazo, but only a wise few know their true nature. Children often chase them away with brooms! <laughs> Is that what it takes? Do I need a broom? Yeah. I guess a boomerang won't do it. Oh, what's this? Uh -huh. Oh! We don't have to go past the Megazo. Oh, That's thank good. God. We'll apparently encounter him at least one more time in the adventure. I was going to say Broomerang, but I was expecting someone else to do the assist, so thank you for us. Hey! Thank you. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! We got a broom to chase it away with! Well, 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 well. Smack that thing with the broom. Smack its ass. Shoo! Shoo! Get away! I love that it's a broom, like it's a <laughs> spider really or something. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Yeah, go on, get! Um, you know, I think I actually am going to have to do this in order to get the fruit. That's fair. Good Look luck. away, everybody. We're going to fight the, the Megazo. All right, get the, get the broom. Oh, you have the broom out. Okay. All right. Scat! Get the heck out of here! Go on, scoot! Go on, get! There you go! Nice! Okay. Ooh! Crisis averted. That's an interesting challenge to put in your game. Make sure you, uh, fight the thing carefully so you don't give your audience seizures. Ah, uh, the trials of being a streamer. That looks like a delicious watermelon. Okay, so we leave that out in order to lure the raptor away from the house with the real pass in it. Okay. Let me get the hell out of Dodge. Try not to turn the game into Top Banana. Still less sickening than that. It is. This isn't a through way, I don't think. No, I don't think it is. Uh, let's, let's fill back up. I took psychic damage from the Megazo. 
Yeah, me too. Me too. Well, if that's the biggest trial we have to face in this game, I'm ready for a nice leisurely walk to the end. You say that, but you know, if you say things like that, this game's gonna pull out some shit. This game's gonna be no problem whatsoever. Just be a complete easy game for ooh, 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 total ooh, ooh, babies. I think that was the fruit yeah, stand. Yeah, it's the fruit table. Let's go back to the other raptor village. Hey, guys. I got your melon. Do you want some of this? I chased away the Megazo. You. Certainly there's a table over here you can put this fruit on. Okay, I see. Can you give it the fruit now? Or do you have to place it somewhere? Um... Okay, I thought I ate the melon. <laughs> that oh, would have been really funny. <laughs> do I just put it over here, maybe? Go inside the other house. Maybe it has like a table. No. It was a fake it's facade. A fake house. Maybe you need to. Hmm. The only other place I can think is putting the melon on the table. And then maybe he'll follow you to it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, oh. This, this table has the. Uh, yeah, this not thing that table, it. but uh, the table in the first uh, Raptor Village with the melons already on it. Oh, really? Replace yeah. the the eaten melon with an uneaten one? I think that's it. And that's a good idea. Be, yeah, that's yeah, all let's I can do think that. of. Now you're thinking like raptors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's your opinion on human flesh? I've got some. <laughs> good, that's the right answer. Well, well, big-brained Alex always knows what to do with the melons. <laughs> so do we go tell them, or...? <laughs> Dinner's on! Let's, ring, got, let's ring, the dinner, ring the dinner bell. Ring the dinner bell. Don't tell the raptors, just eat the melon all to myself. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the goal of this game, just to eat a big old watermelon. God, that sounds good. Why? I guess because it's watermelon season, so I'm craving watermelons. Have I been Makes here? Have, no, you haven't. The tram won't go anymore. Oh, this is the uh, entrance. I oh, see. okay. I, I see, I see. We're using all of our brain power for this game. Eat the melon in front of the raptors so they get pissed off and kill you. All right, sounds good. I think we have to eat it in front of them to show them we mean business. Show dominance. We're not here to fuck around. Yeah. Hey, there's a melon. There's a melon. Go eat the melon. You can go eat the melon. Go eat the melon. Go. Mm. Go eat the melon. I have an idea and you're gonna hate it. What? Hit it once with a boomerang. Smart. <laughs> no, he is unfazed. He... Okay. He started to munch on me. Let's uh, let's back off. You need, you to, need hit to hit the, the kids. kids. Okay. Oh yeah, because that summoned it to that area. We need to hit the kids just enough to make the mom mad, but not mad enough to maul us. Okay. <laughs> you know, bears wouldn't put up with this shit. Well, that's why we're not messing with bears. Hit the melon with the boomerang? Huh? Oh. That was a good thought. Yeah, no, I get it. Where'd those kids go? Oh, oh, oh! I hear one. Where are you at, little guy? Come on, you little freaks. This way. I did hear one in this area. Yeah, yeah, I heard it too. 
They said you could observe it from inside the house, so maybe you need to go inside the house and then it'll trigger an event that makes them arrive. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a nice uh, melon viewing area. It is! Look at that! It's a total viewing area for melon antics. Who's making that noise? Me. I don't see it. Let's observe the melon action. If I'm wrong, it's gonna be so funny. Oh, I wasn't wrong! Thank God! I think your brain is wired for these games. I, I am system SACOM brained. The dinosaurs all came together. All right, I bet you can do it now. You're so happy. <sighs> Feels good to do a good deed. Yeah, watermelon's cheap at the grocery store right now, Danny. Or if by cheap, I mean like, you know, it's in season. It's priced like watermelon. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is this time-based? Oh my god, I gotta hurry up to hurry, the place hurry. before they eat the fucking melon. <laughs> Go, Danny, go. Your, your kids, they're eating melon. Go. Go with go before they eat it all. Go, 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 go. Move, 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 move. I went backwards. You went backwards! Can I just yell? <laughs> hey, mom dinosaur. Watermelon. Got a new one. Eat it, please. Hey! <laughs> you did it! You did it! I am the brain genius. Now you need to find the train that actually runs. I know where that is. Okay. Why didn't System Satcom get to make more games like this? They made so many FMV-driven adventure games, but I think they did really well with low-poly 3D environments and the explorations of... thereof. <laughs> Yeah, you kids have fun. That would have been funny if they made this a timing-based thing. God, that would have sucked. <laughs> is it a thank you note? Aw, it is! What? You got a little scroll. A grand map, okay. Oh my god! Danny, this game seems huge. You need to split this into multiple days, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe. It might be deceptive. Okay, fair enough. I think we're gonna be here in Iblard for a little while longer. Grand map! Yeah, we can become friends with the dinosaurs. Next area. Here we fucking go. We only got killed once. That was pretty funny. That was good. She's just like, oh, you hit my kids, huh? Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, now we have uh, an idea of where we're going. Interesting game. Melkinso's Pond. It does feel better to make friends with the dinos. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we didn't kill them. Snake Man's Iblard stream was 3.5 hours. Oh boy. Okay. Now we can we can see what we can do here. Yeah, Graphite did it in three hours too. Okay. I'm thinking four hours maximum. Okay. Oh, this is one of those fog gates. Get ready to fight a boss. Okay. Oh, shit. I mean... Okay. Chopello. That's the mole. Yeah. How to get there? Boat? Darn. We 
wish I could walk under a waterfall. Same, same. Well, shit, what are you supposed to do? They should let you chop down trees in this. They should! It should this game should just be Minecraft. Yeah, what were they thinking not making this Minecraft? Uh -oh. oh. You had to push on a thing. This is like mist, but good. <laughs> I've never had much patience for mist. <gasps> oh, tricked again! Oh, you guys. Trick hole. Oh, it was a hole you were supposed to fall into. Fool's hole. I didn't even look. Cool. Are we underground? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> I know who's here. Folks, our elephant friend is lost in this maze, apparently, so uh, be ready for... Yeah, now now the real king's field begins. Don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, that's smart. That's smart. Just acting on my basest instincts. Wow. Whoa. Wow. This aquarium kicks ass. This, this is cool. We got some big fish in here. It's just like Bioshock. Everyone wants to kill me now. Ah, <laughs> no, this doesn't look so bad. Oh, seems easy enough. Just watch out for the freak guy. He's here to freak your mind with his flashing and splashing. There's not a sequel to Pissed called Driven, is there? No. Do we have to play Driven, a sequel to Pissed? Vaporware, right? That never came out, right? Surely, yeah. That sounds way too good to be true. There is only a demo. Uh-oh, look away, look away. Okay. Here's our friend. He popped up right behind me. Thanks, guy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! How do you like to destroy the stream? Uh, he's blocking the way forward, so I think we have to leave. Can you, can you kill him? Like, with a gun? Uh, well, we haven't found the gun yet. Okay. There is a broom somewhere in here, though. Okay. You stay right there, Mr. Man. You don't you don't move a muscle. I'll deal with you in a second. Killed, uh... Ah, bats! Oh, God! <laughs> it's killed during the Learning Company merger. Oh, that's wonderful. Who put bats in there? What's wrong with you? Are there more bats in here? You want to jump scare me, you should put butterflies in one of these. You got a key? More bats, I bet. Yep. A secret area. And then a bat bit me right on the back of the head. Fucking rude. Ooh, push it. Uh. Uh. Oh, look. Look what's down there. Yeah, yeah, you can bowl. Woo. Stand in our way, will you? Blam. Blam. Strike. Actually, I guess it's a split. That was really bad. However, 
We did get our favorite broom. Get his ass! Get his ass! Can I take this boulder with me? No! You know, I hope you're not supposed to get all of those for the hidden ending. <laughs> oh, why are the bottoms so luminescent? All right, let's go find our friend. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Be warned, it's gonna flash a little bit as okay. I uh, as I approach him. All right, I'll look at you, chat. Chat. Oh yeah, real. Oh, we we totally played. We played X -Fools. the X Fools. That game made me mad. <laughs> We've also played uh, Wind Blows or whatever. All right, I've played I've free. played really frustrating games and I've never gotten mad. What makes me mad is bad humor. That just pisses me off for no reason. Is that why you keep turning on the Dennis Miller game? Yeah. <laughs> you figured me out. Okay, we're going to approach him. It's going to flash a little bit. Okay. Got him. Get out of here. Get his ass. Elephant defeated. I got something for that. I <laughs> love driven. I got to check that out. Mansion of Hidden Souls moment. There's so much health in this. It's really nice. This looks like a building in uh, downtown Austin. It does! I guess we're here. Hey, hey, whatever guy. <laughs> hey, whatever yeah. guy. Oh, there they are. It's his pond. <laughs> He's very casual. We need five gems. この5つの鉱石を全部集めて no. no! No! We have to stop them. Alright, now we got stakes. Okay. I don't want there to be a big elephant. <laughs> they were all there and you lost them all! イバラード中に飛び散った。残りの人、定休新セスタは時空の溝を通って君の世界に紛れ込んでしまった。うん。キャプターが羽化すれば同じように時空が歪んで溝ができる。そうすりゃ君も元の世界に帰れると思うんだ
Beware the Takatsun military's black airships, as they are armed with special synthester based shells. What looks like a normal shell contains the ability to rob a human of energy. It was designed for riot control. Yikes! Keeping this volatile design in mind, a synthester to synthester reaction could trigger a space-time distortion. Okay. Do hey, we want that? I don't want riot control gear where it sucks out your energy. Milk and Soza, they? Let's go. Alright. The frog don't need to have a gender. Hell yeah. We 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 support a non-binary frog icon. Doing this all for plants. Good. Okay. We did it. It was nice not to be mauled by raptors in that area. Yeah, that was cool. Raptors, genderless frogs. It's a secret Jurassic Park game, it's true. Life finds a way. You know it's Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Jurassic 30? Yeah, how do you feel about that? Why'd you tell me that? <laughs> no, Jurassic Park's pretty new. It's um It's it's Ghostbusters that's retro. How many areas do we have left, I wonder? Huh. Does this make sense to anyone? Yes. Uh, yeah. I could I could tell you that. Yeah, Jurassic Park only came out like ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this one of the good mushrooms? Oh no, it's one nope. of the bad mushrooms. Don't touch it. Don't touch that. There's a street light here. What does this little tableau mean? Well, it looks like you can Yeah, what does that do? Hmm. Mm. Looks like we need to put a stone there. I mean, it is some sort of device. It is that. What does this do? Hmm. I bet you need to put in the device, the item, like whatever ore is there. Oh, yeah, the maybe. Trigger, yeah. yeah, maybe. anything? Would you live here? I would. You have a wooden boomerang. I know we need an energy source. I grazed the mushroom. I'm gonna like bump into stuff. I was gonna say, can you go through the gate? Oh, look. Yeah, yeah. I get it now. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a thing that you put the energy source into and it powers the lights, it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, the, uh... What to do? I'm looking for interactables. Maybe the, maybe the light pole? Looks like there's a nice delicious fruit in there. It does. Yeah, there's a wall that looks that looks like you can walk through there. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was solid. No, no, it's, it's walk through. Okay. Those mushrooms look delicious. I eat them. Me too. Oh, oh those mushrooms boy. are pulsating. I don't like that. It's never a good sign. You don't want to eat the pulsating mushrooms. Yeah, that's just... Did that go backwards? Did you? No. Oh, I can actually go down. Okay. This is starting to come together. You got a map? What does this place look like? Whew, good luck! Okay, it marks the uh, street lamps. Apparently that's pretty important. 
We got some work to do. White umbrellas bear no harm. Leap and you will venture far. Red umbrellas spew a gas <laughs> that tires all from lad to lass. Red umbrellas quiver in light. Behold, the witch's shop is in sight. You know, it shouldn't be this much of a pain in the ass to go to someone's shop. I mean... She has a very exclusive clientele. It's I'm only just for... telling you, this is why e-commerce is going so well. It's only for people who know how to navigate the mushrooms. Maybe you have to fall down on it from above. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'm backing up into poison. Well, let's wander around a little bit. Friend? You're not a friend. You're an evil mushroom. Get out of here. Oh, won't let you go there? Okay. Hey, you found a source. <laughs> that was a real geeky noise. <laughs> I found the power source. I was gonna say, that sounds like the nerd emoji. You guys, I found the crystal. This music makes me feel like I'm at a really, like, fancy Italian restaurant. Yeah, like I shouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah, like I'm in trouble, like they're gonna know my credit score or something and, like, beat <laughs> me up. <laughs> the Italian restaurant knows your credit score. Hey, you don't make up much money. I'm sorry. You can't afford the lasagna. You can only afford the slice of the pizza pie. Yeah, but you gotta jump, fall onto it. Doing. Oh, it's jumping flash now. Oh. Hey, you got the moon. Yeah, this is anti hospitaliano <laughs> I don't know, this place is pretty hospitaliano as long as you don't <laughs> hit the As long as you don't raptors. run into the seizure elephant that kills all humans, yeah. There's a little bit of poison mushrooms around, but that's okay. It's used in Italian cooking. They need it. I don't know enough about Italian cooking to know if they use poison mushrooms. It'd be cool if they did, though. Italians, use poison mushrooms. <laughs> Italians, prove me wrong. Got everything you need in here. Okay. I'm so relaxed. It's such a nice, a nice game. Oh, oh! Put in the moonstone. Ooh, right. That's, I have. That's down. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. See. Oh, right. Yeah. Simon, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you! It is super effective. <laughs> yeah, Italians, listen to me and, and, and put poison in your food. <laughs> How did we get here? All respect. I don't know what else. Listen, I'm not good at talking when, when thinking. Even though you're the one doing all the thinking. I'm vicariously thinking for you. You're the one solving all the puzzles. That's true. Oh, there they go! Okay, the mushrooms have moved on. We need their, their assistance elsewhere. This is funny how it's cutting away like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, okay. So you can fall on them this way. Oh, I see. Who's a hot dog snob? Not me. Couldn't be me. Elsie, you're not a hot dog snob. Nice. Oh, that was a sequence break. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to use the third one. Nice. I'm outsmarting this game left and right. I don't think I can get in this house. No, but there is a gateway you can walk through. There is a street lamp here. Yeah. Ah, big poison. Source yeah, okay, maybe we need to backtrack. Yeah. The new Ransona, hot dog snob! Oh man, I the need hot that. dog snob. 
I've never met a dog I liked. That's his uh, catchphrase. He's got to like one brand of hot dog, and it's got to be a real artisanal like brand that no one can find in their stores. Artisanal hot dog. Look, you. Oh, come on. It's made from parts from every animal, not just a few of them. <laughs> There you go. No shades of device. Top five worst condiments that killed the hot dog community. The hot dog community. <laughs> I was ready to read that as hot dog industry, but you said something much no, funnier. No, I, 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 you know that there's a hot dog community that has really strong opinions. Hey. Oh. Take that poison mushroom. We have a mission now. Okay, three more lights to go. Okay. And I think now we actually have everything in place where we can actually solve the thing. Is strafing while you play more annoying or less annoying than playing like a normal person? <laughs> Is this the equivalent of backdashing in Symphony of the Night? <laughs> Am I just infuriating a few people watching this? Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it. You're getting it. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. System Saycom just really riling me up. Number two. Strafing's fine. Okay. I am pretending that I'm in a racing game. <laughs> I'm making little car noises. You just can't hear it. I've had exotic hot dogs before. So but... have I. Oh, we both have. I had the uh, the hot dog with peanut butter and jelly and Captain Crunch on it. Oh, oh. I've, I've just had, like, bison dogs and, and duck dogs. Well, well, well. I didn't Mr. Highfalutin so Hot Dog Man. It was on a pretzel bun. You're too good for me to eat peanut butter and jelly off a hot dog. I could do that. I could eat <laughs> peanut butter and jelly off a hot dog. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they closed that place down. Yeah, they because it was disgusting. It's a place called Man Bites Dog. I had I had a Man Bites Dog card that if you get ten hot dogs, they give you a free one. I had nine hole punches on it when they closed I'm down. I'm so sorry. The world is cruel for us hot dog community fans. Do they need to be in sequence? Maybe so, because this is specifically blocking something. Okay, we need to find the third one. Okay. You were close for putting ketchup on the hot dog. <laughs> that was a bridge too far. In Missouri, there is a hot dog place called Up Dog. There is... Okay, <laughs> in... I know where I'm going. <laughs> In, uh, in, 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 um, in, 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 New in Albuquerque, there's a hot dog place called Clown Dog, and it's a circus-themed hot dog place, and they do gluten-free. That's nice. I need to go, Danny. They also do hot dogs with peanut butter and Captain Crunch and shit on them. Do clowns make them? I hope to God they do. This All is right. the area with the bouncy stuff. We don't yeah. need to be here anymore. One last light pole we're not getting. I guess, you know. Are the hot dogs made of circus peanuts? Are the buns made out of circus peanuts? Are the clowns made out of circus peanuts? Clowns are made out of circus peanuts, and they taste delicious. Ooh, yeah, it's the one on the side of that building that I couldn't light. Oh, okay. Yeah, how do we light that one? How do you light that? Yeah, it's, it's freaking it's this one. I'm mushrooming. You're shrooming. Shrooming Newman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it? It's not through the the gate, is it? No. Hmm. I don't see a whale. Whale? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> oh wait, it's a bouncy boy. Okay. It's a bouncy boy. Okay. I missed. Okay, you can do it though. I know where to go. 
boy got the bouncy boy. <laughs> yep, Shroomin Newman. <laughs> the new Retro Pals character. Oh, I see. Yeah, you see. Oh, oh boy. Oh god. Okay, but I see where you're going. You're going up there. Oh, you're going there. Oh, no, 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 no. I see where it is. Turn around. Where? Turn, turn, turn to the house. It's up on the house, I bet. See how there's a bouncy thing there? Do you see what I mean? Ooh, yes. Okay. Okay. I get you. I just, I got, I got System Saycom brain. I got this. Satcom, Saycom. Let's call the whole thing off. Crossover fighter with Shroomin, Newman, and Assmate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like our legally distinct Storm and Norman that we just I do. invented. I do! I love Shroomin, Newman. We can actually Newman. use that name. Oh yeah, this, this one bounces you way higher. There you go, there. There. And you're inside. There you go! Brain genius. Nice, nice. My brain is huge. Bonk. Good. Smarter by the second. Also, ouch. Okay, now the, the last one was past the house, I think. Yeah, I think it's through the hole or whatever. I get lost so easily, and yet these environments are detailed enough where you can actually tell where you've been and where you're going. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of nice landmarking. We're not having the, the issue it, like in Lunacy where we got stopped at the floral shop and we couldn't <laughs> find it. Yeah. It was just a series of, like, uh, nodes with five different places to go, each one. All right. Away with you, cursed mushroom. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, this is extremely clean level design. It's very clean. There's nothing wasted. Who's in here? I think this is the witch's shop. Oh yeah. Girl, get me some candles. Green candles. I need money. Hey, did you come from Lunacy too? <laughs> yeah, we're from Lunacy. <laughs> How'd you get to Iblar? This is on PlayStation. That's a different yeah. platform. It's a long story. So you look at it. Okay, that's where we're going. Uh, he kind of spoke the force language. Yeah. Classic burger lad. Demo. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You're magicians? I'm way out of my element. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Hi. Find the legendary Oreos. これもありがとうございます。ノナ君とあなた、日が合いそうだわ。私も鉱石を探しに行くわね。<笑> Let's. Yodis, thank you for the sub. Thank you. That is 30 whole months. Thank you for the That's whole month. That's almost a whole month. Mm -hmm. Away we go on our airship. Doesn't look like an airship. Looks like a potato, kind of. We got a potato airship. A month of months. Yeah, like an eclair, or as they call them here, long johns. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I when I go to the grocery store, I get I get fresh donuts for the folks. I told Alex house. to pick me up an eclair, and they didn't yeah. know what it was. Yeah, they, 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 they call the eclairs long johns there, and for some reason it always makes me laugh. I'm like, here are your long johns, Danny. I don't every time, every time. I love long johns. Here's your long john. 
Except every time I get a long john for you, I get a lot of chocolate frosting on my hands. I need to use the little tongs. It's a regional dialect. Does Quinona live here? I'm sorry, that's pronounced quinoa. <laughs> this area is cool. Whoa, 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 look. Hey, we got public transit. Long Johns are also underwear, yeah. Mm -hmm. Try figuring that one out. It's locked. Can't you just jimmy it open? I wonder if... <gasps> yeah, you can. Hey, don't do that. I'll do what I want. No, you won't. <laughs> Kinona Rider. <laughs> no, I like that one. They're also called Long Bar Donuts. I've heard of that. Okay. I've heard of them called bars. Is that a flying rat? No, uh-oh. Oh, fuck! Um, they got guns! Hey. Uh, hey, guys. Yikes! Okay, we're being shot at. We better go. We gotta, we gotta get out. We gotta go find shelter. The Iblard police are on our asses. No, not you! No, of all times! <laughs> the, the person I least want to see right now while I'm being shot by the you police. You want to see me? Flat, 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 flat. He is a cop. He's in on it. Oh, I was no, no, slot too. Chad was mentioning maybe you can hit the shots back at them with your boomerang. Possibly. Right, let's try that. Oh! It does dissipate them. You missed. Pa! Bam! Ah, uh, okay. Sheesh. Can we get past that guy? I haven't been to that building. It may be locked, though. So I'm gonna go for it. Finder bits from, uh, Cartman. Yeah, the, 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 they're, they are serving Dalek. <gasps> okay, oh, can't, boo! can't get How past it. I get a metal boomerang. Okay. Perhaps here? Metal boomerang, metal boomerang. I see candy. And a map, there we go. Nice, nice. This place is dangerous. You did miss the elephant one. We just ran into him. He's in this area. We got to take him out. We yeah. need a broom. All right. Oh, 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 oh. That looks like a metal boomerang to me. Mm-hmm. Indiana Jones and the crystal boomerang. The sinister boomerang. Oh, they mentioned it causes rips. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we hit... Things. The yeah. Sinister Boomerang. A boomerang carved from fresh sinister delicious. As they're all made of similar ore, this boomerang would counter Tatsukun weaponry well. However, as a boomerang, the ore has no effect on other surfaces, deeming it weaker than its wooden counterparts. <laughs> this is weaker than a wooden boomerang? That's pretty funny. Well, we got some use for it, at least. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Casey, for the 27 month sub. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for the sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're always up for delivering the system sack on content. <laughs> we love delivering classic games that also are this. <laughs> I love this. I do love this, is the thing. Oh, it doesn't like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get fucked. This game's got action. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, fuck, let's go up. Let's oh, go. shit, he's got the crystal boomerang. Well, that uh, that solves our military problem, but we still have an elephant problem. There's well, an elephant see. in the room. Let's see, we should find a broom. Uh, hey! well. Wait, that's not a broom, that's a... Root? Brush? Key? key? Yeah, it's a key. It's a key. Oh, okay. 
couple more places we gotta explore here. Yeah, I love the ships looking at each other. <laughs> it didn't look like they were big enough to be piloted, so maybe they're just uh, autonomous. We're coming back for you. D -d -d coming back for you, buddy. I hate that guy. I hate that they're plotting to make a large version of him. I love that he popped up right in front of my face. <laughs> Well, there's another door. That would be a pretty funny prank if not for the flashing. Apparently while uh, testing this game, the translators ran through this game on like fast forward speed. Oh no! And one of them forgot where one of the elephants was going to pop up. Oh jeez. So on their giant 4K screen in the middle of the night with no lights on, they just got, they flashed like crazy. Jeez. There's the broom. Let's get That's this. where I left my broom. Let's sweep this guy to hell. <clears throat> Let's sweep this guy under the rug. To death. I always gotta look at every corner of the room just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Mm -hmm. This game could use a run button, but also not really. It feels okay paced. The levels are so small. That you don't really need to run from place to place. Okay, usual warning. As I approach this thing, it's going to flash a little bit. Okay. We're going to sweep it away. Flashing starts now. There he goes. Okay, good. Fuck that guy. I had enough of that guy. Same. Yeah, shoot. Get out of here. I love that you shoo him away like it's a rat. <laughs> Oh. oh, you're not going to let me strafe down the spiral stairs? Boo! <laughs> Give me the one joy I have in life. Yeah, they should use the elephants for raves. Yeah, yeah! Not for, not for the military applications they're being used for, apparently. Looks a little bit like home. Yeah. Books. Ugh, they got books here too. Yeah, buddy. Let's read. Oh, this is stuff from our world. Yeah. Ah! The hell are you? Our boyfriend. Cool, that was cool. Quigon Jin, nice to meet you. If I wanted to read, I'd go to Iblard. I'm always asking if I could say something strange. I'm going to go back to the real world and this guy's going to be his real boyfriend. <laughs> That'll be the twist. That is the taker! Yes, that's uh, the dead man there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> The purple highlight and everything. <laughs> One of those words wasn't a word. Yeah, my world sucks. Mm-hmm. Two sides of the same gay coin. God damn it, I was gonna say the gay coin. <laughs> oh, he left us a key. Well, that probably opens the final house with the rail pass. Now, what's this? Is this one of those uh, machines where they take your blood pressure? <laughs> like at the grocery store? Yeah. Okay. Right, put your arm in the thing. Invest in gay coin. It's 
just as big of a scam as all the other coins. But gay. Yeah, it's this very hilltop. I still don't know what this is. It looks like a rat to me. The big flying rat that looks mm -hmm. like it's flying around like a kite. Surely that's not what it is. Okay, which one was locked that we didn't get to yet? Uh, good question. I want to say that one. I want to say this one, too. Yeah. It's a big flying gay rat. Oh, finally. Starburst. It does look delicious. It's orange, which is one of the worst Starburst uh, flavors. Couldn't have been a strawberry. Uh oh. No, that's my airship. Oh, okay. I needed to find fuel. And we got one of the uh, ores, apparently, so. Hey! We're making good progress. Save stated progress. Wow, we just skipped like half the world. <laughs> like, woo! It's fine. Fast travel. <clears throat> this whole area here, there's nothing here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, people like orange. I've started an argument. They make uh, they make starbursts that are just one flavor for freaks like me. They make all like uh, cherry. <laughs> Yeah, I like cherry, too. Cherry's delicious. Very neat PS1 graphics here. Oh, no, it's stealth. It's stealthy. It's stealthifying itself. They kind of look like burnt sweet potatoes to me. No, not the burnt sweet potatoes. Look at that. Ow. Dunk. Well, I hope we had landed at someone nice's house. I love that it fits in your pocket. <laughs> Why are they acting so cruel? I'll have to find a flying stone. As meteors gathered in this airspace, a peculiar updraft formed as well. What's updraft? I don't know. A triangular ore appears to be its source of gravity, but who left that here? Take advantage of the updraft to fly from island to island. If you want to fly farther, give yourself a running start. Cool. We're going to be running and jumping and flying. Did I save? Yeah, save. save again. Doesn't hurt. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm flying! Ah! Y'all aren't going to start shooting at me, right? Can I just have a nice flying experience? Watch out for those sweet potatoes. Watch out. Oh, oh, oh! There you go. Whew. That was fucking scary. <laughs> What's it trying to tell me? I think I know where the broom is. I think I know who's waiting for us here, too. I hate him. Yeah, what an asshole. I'm looking for this broom. Eh? That'd be the updraft that you feet. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, the purple things are your updrafts, it looks like. I saw something over there. On that island, yeah. How to get there? I'm not gonna make that. Oh no. There you go. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, what's that? Oh! 
What oh, the? there's where the broom's gonna be. It's gonna what be there. What the? Okay, cool. What the? This game's crazy. There's uh, nothing to latch on to! <laughs> you're fine! Ooh. Okay, it looks like the broom is in the second story, so... It's gonna go up. This is me making flying noises. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. There it is! All right. Fuck that guy! We're equipped. Mm. We're ready for him. This is gonna be the one time where we're actually ready for him once he shows up. Yeah, the music is great here. It is, it's so yeah, atmospheric. Yeah, Danny was making dark castle noises. I was, you're you right. You were, you're dark castle. Oh. Where's updraft? Not much, dog. Ooh. Feels good. This is great. I'm flying. Let's flip the script. Oh. Okay. I see what you're putting down here. This game is so cool. Is this the best system SACOM game? Yeah, no, I'm This is fantastic. It. This is, I'm having a good time. I wasn't I'm... sure what to expect from this because it has such high standards to live up to, but man. I don't think we can make that, can we? I think you can. Okay. Just gotta get a run and start, but I bet you can do it. Yeah, it's so normal, but also it's so good. Yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna make this. Oh, I'm not gonna make this. Nope. All right, good. Never mind, we did it. All right, so that leads you to go different directions. Maybe What's that. over here? Whee. I wish all games were like this. Me too. I just I, want more games like this. I, I just like being able to backseat easily. This is nice. Yeah, the thing is, you're not backseating though, because you're always right. <laughs> yeah, no. If you're a backseater, no. you'd just be constantly wrong. It's here in the bowl. Uh, hell. Oh, I see. Well, I didn't need that. Alex is in the driver's seat now. Uh, so this is AI. Don't fall. That's that's my big advice. Okay, now you're being a backseater. Yeah, yeah. Don't fall here. This part's hard. I don't know what's supposed to happen over here. Oh, okay. We got some platforming. Oh, we gotta dodge these. We gotta we gotta strafe. Look, all that strafing practice this, paid oh off. Oh my god! I told you I was right. No, no. It's the, okay. Get out! Get out! You get! You leave! Leave! Nice. No one likes you. Whew. Simon, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Simon. Yeah, you're passenger seating. <laughs> I am. Oh, God. That was kind of scary. Yeah, I didn't think you were going to make it. Hey, uh -huh. that looks like a thing. We found our ore. Why is my health so low? Did the Megazode just kick the shit out of me? It did. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Just in case. I don't want to have to redo this. I got Megazode generated. Oh, this is convenient. Hey. I nearly raved to death. Airship energy source. I can fly with this. Thank you for the hundred bits, Cartman. Yeah, we do need more primo gems. Yeah, feed me more starbursts. Mm -hmm. I didn't need the save state for nothing. 
Okay, so that lady gave us one gem. We have another one. There's three more. Mm -hmm. Night Sky Market. Let's see, your airship's going really fast. Feels like we're making good progress. I think we can beat this in three hours. Okay. You want to go f until 10? Uh, hell yeah. All right, let's go for it. Now it's lunacy. Oh boy. But. Okay, we need to find a moon. Damn, fruit gummies do sound good. Last time I've had a fruit gummy. I have fruit gummies in the, uh, the pantry. You do? Yeah. Oh my god. You should force me to eat some of the pudding before I can have the fruit gummy. <laughs> you have to eat 50, 50 packs of pudding before you can get okay, to the Okay, I can't eat 50. I was going to say five. I ate two the other night, so now we're down to like 108. Oh, that's good. In case you're just joining us, we have a pudding problem. I accidentally ordered too much pudding. Yeah. You got a really good deal on it, though. I did. It was less than five bucks, which is why I thought it was going to be 40 instead of 140. <laughs> It's all pudding. That's what I was thinking. 40 would have lasted me a month. This is gonna last me, uh, probably until we move out. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have pudding forever. Pudding forever, my lord. Oh, this place got alleyways. Yeah, I have 140 pudding cups. 144, actually. It's a gross. This looks like it should be something. Carrotville. This is the bunny lounge. Carrots, carrots. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're in lunacy. We gotta get the broom. We gotta look, get the broom. Look who our friend... Our, it marks our friend on the map. That's good. It mentions three brooms. A lot of brooms. There's three brooms? Are there three Megazos? If there are three Megazos, I'm out of here. <laughs> Alex is just gonna leave. Mm -hmm. What a nice place. It's the Broom Brothers! Okay! Reasonable place to get a broom. I took the broom. Alright, Megazo. Where are you? We're here to kick your ass. This is where the trans birds hang out. Cool! And the fish. I was gonna say, that's like half of my timeline. Trans birds and fish. Yeah, birds. I mean, sharks are fish, right? Uh. No. I'm just. I'll just sit, put it this way. For some reason, all, all the shark furries are lesbians, and I support you all, by the way. It's just. That's why I was wondering, because, you know. I have a broom. Do. Okay, we need to use up all of our brooms, apparently. Sharks are fish. Great! So that's where all the lesbian sharks are. Okay. Glad we could clear that up. Okay, I know where all the, bloom, the broom shops are. Now we just gotta find some Megazos to chew off. Is there like a sea bass for Sona? You know, I have seen some pretty specific fish for Sona, so you just gotta look. Just open your mind and search on Google and see what you can find. <laughs> Just open your mind and search on Google. You can't tell people that anymore. Google's useless now. That's true. I guess you have to go to DuckDuckGo. Go to DuckDuckGo? God, that's easy. God, it's the, the copyrights itself. Yeah, I, I can see. Okay, salmon for Sona, that's good. Don't mind me, just exploring. Like in all the, the all the sharks I've seen too. 
like in the furry world, they're also really buff. They're all buff ladies, which is maybe why they're all lesbians. I don't know. But it's very interesting. It stands to reason. Starship planets. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You! You! You're Get huge! You're so fucking big! Get out of here! Oh my god, we need three! It's a Megazone that's so big, we need three brooms! My nightmares have come true. I'm sorry. Okay, so this thing is just across from uh, the, the lesbian bird bar. The, the okay. trans lesbian bird bar. Alright. You see what I mean about nice landmarks? Take care of our Megazo problem. Yeah, first. let's get his ass. Fuck him. Trans birds' rights indeed. You. There's a Broom Brothers. Hell yeah. Nowadays, kids would pronounce this uh, store name as the the Broom Bro Bros. They don't know that bros is a abbreviation. I've ranted about this before. You have, actually. This is like the second bros rant I've heard from you. Broom bros. Dead, but still bros. <laughs> Said there were fools for opening three locations on the same block. I was at a Broom Bros. And I stood on the corner. Across the street was another Broom Bros. <laughs> yeah, get the hell out of here. Kill it. Alright, go to the planets. Eat the planets. Hmm? Uh -huh. What a team. Yeah, go team. Interesting. So we're trying to resolve some issue in our real life, apparently. Looks like there's some kind of meta story going on here. System SACOM is happening. Thank you. I took the three planets, put them in my pocket. So, I guess we have to call down the airship, maybe. Yeah. Where was that? It was near the trans bird bar. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen this area yet. Oh, I still need a freaking moon, too. Yeah, you need to get that moon. This is the opening area. Actually, if I open the map now, we can tell where we are. Um, okay, hug the left wall until we get to the blimp store. Okay. I'm looking to buy a blimp. You got a blimp. 
been in the market for a few years. Oh, there's the place. Oh, there it is. Can I just... been cool if the airship just went down in flames. <laughs> Show. This is a really weird game. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, maybe if we find that. Yeah. Maybe something else unlocked now that I did the first requirement. This is back to the opening area. <clears throat> Do the background colors mean something? Do Shop. I figured out the Broom Brothers. Yeah, we got that settled. What about these stores that have these things in front of them? No. Good idea, though. It's probably something simple. Yeah. Those are hippie stores that sell rocks. <laughs> oh, okay, good, good. Alex's favorite kind of store. I love those stores. They opened they opened a store like that by the train station in, in Austin, so I could I could take a train and get some rocks, which is like just I, I am so excited to do that sometime. Where is that freaking moon? We've seen the moon tower, but even the map doesn't tell you where the moon itself is. Let's take another lap. Okay. I want to live here. Yeah, me too. It's like, I know, we got him! There's something here. You're right about those people. Is there a painting? Oh, this is different. I'm being pushed. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's the elephant store. And then you hide. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And all for nothing. But that was cool. Though. That was cool. It's got to Oh! Okay. Houses are jerks. Oh! Okay. Do well, you think he well, just set well. The planets on this? Okay, there's the moon. Yeah, let's let's get to it. Oh, I wonder if the backgrounds have to do with which ones you have to set these on. We'll see that after we do this, but yeah. I'm missing one. I thought you had a green one. I have a yellow one. Okay, yellow, yeah. You! You! Uh, sorry, everybody. I gotta figure out our elephant problem. Okay, so I think it is like... Looks like the elephant left. But it Did does... he leave? Yeah, so right. I, I'm assuming you do have to put them on the color that's on the background of the starship. Do you remember? Do you know what I'm talking about? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I pick yeah. them up again? Yeah, pick I them can. Up. Okay. Okay. All so right. Let's look at the starship and see where we need to place these bad boys. Come 
kind of got hurt by the Megazos. So let's go ahead and save state. Yeah, it's probably good. Okay, so there's not a fourth planet. We just no. have to place the three in their correct positions. Yeah. Yeah, Caesar's kind of a harsh penalty. <laughs> that's weird that that's the only penalty the game has, other than, I guess, dying, which is pretty unlikely. You have to really piss off a raptor for that to happen. Alright, it's back through here. the Megazo shop. Shut it down. Shut it down. Nobody needs this. No, we need it to support the Broom Bros. Do you not support the Broom Bros economy? I support the Broom Brothers. Who are these Broom Bros you speak of? I'm going to be one of those assholes. You are. You are. You're Squids. Gonna be... I want to eat it. It's manufactured conflict. All right, All right, Alex. Yellow on yellow planet on the blue seat. Blue planet on the red seat. And red planet on the yellow seat. This ought to do it. Whoop. It did. Woot indeed. Uh, hey, it's a woot worthy moment. Hashtag woot. We have a woot. Everybody redeem your woots. We don't even have any woots to redeem. Okay, get the moonstone and get your butt on the airship. <laughs> it's going to open that area at the beginning. So let's see what's over there. Yeah, I haven't heard Woot in a long time. Yeah, I'm bringing it back, baby. You gotta spell it with uh, the zeros, yeah. Mm -hmm. W-0-0-T. Woot Zors. Oof. Can we add Zors to things again? Uh, has it been long enough? I think so. This sucks Zors. No, this isn't suck Zors, it's rock Zors. Yeah, this game rocks or is my boxers. It, oh my god. <laughs> no. Yeah, see? Yeah, I take it all back. No, I, we can't go back. We're never going back. We've learned a little bit about, about ourselves tonight. We're too busy in our room saying whoop quietly to ourselves to go out with our friends and have fun at the sports game. Did you catch the game? What a team. <laughs> Maximum ponage. This game would be better with the uh, Unreal Tournament announcer. I agree. Is this part really loud? I just realized it's loud on our end. It is kind of loud, yeah. It's atmospheric. Mm -hmm. Two triangles kissing. Ha-ha-ha! The stone which we came for. Gem. Woot is better than Leet. Okay, I agree. These are controversial opinions. Wow. I like that. That's where I'm going. That's trippy. 
Where are we going? Oh, we're going in here. Ah, uh, we're gonna see the burger man. Oh yeah, that guy. The burger okay. lad. Now that we've got the high grade synthzer. All right, where's the wicker man? Safe state in case the wicker man eats us. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Let's throw a boomerang at him. This would be the most serene one CC ever. <laughs> you just have to, like, not get hit by stuff. I think he's past this bridge. I think so too. Burger boy. Burger boy. Oh, now I know your library pin. You're gonna have to change it now. I'm gonna check yeah, out books under say, your name. Gonna... <laughs> You're gonna get really embarrassed. Yeah, you gotta push it. Oh, right, this thing. Well, there's some candy I left over here. Gotta recharge in case we meet another Megazone. Delicious. Shockingly scrutable. I'm shocked by how, how, how much I'm scruting this game, yeah. Alright, so... Do you need to turn the sluice to turn the water back on? Maybe? Maybe not. I'm going to take my chances with not. Okay, I don't know, because it didn't look like the water and the bridge was up. All right, we'll go fuck I'm with the sorry, sluice. I'm sorry, just, I just got sluice mania, okay? You got sluice on the brain. Mm-hmm. Fine, we'll mess with the sluice. It's still in its position. Okay, never mind. The water is flowing. Yeah, it's still in its position. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. I just thought that the thing didn't open up, so that's my fault. I'm glad you checked. Okay, thank you. It's like worrying that the oven is on. Is the sluice on, I scream? <laughs> You're worried about the sluice and there's freaking Megazos wandering around? Yeah, that's fair. There's freaking raptors eating watermelons? Okay, but that part's good. Yeah. Alright, one of these areas led to the fish heads. The other area led to the the man. Oh, I see. You gotta fall down and hit the switch to get the things up again. Gotta fight my nemesis, the turtle, again. Oh, you can just fall down. That's nice. Thunk. There you go. Everybody's blaming the sluice. The sluice is just doing what it, it does. Mm-hmm. Those fans eating good tonight. I'm gonna never say the word sluice again after tonight. Yeah, you're gonna be sluiced out? Yeah. Oh! Oh, you're here! He grew up! Hey. He's, he's definitely larger now, right? Yeah. It's no longer a puppy. He had the thing we needed. Can you pet the dog in Iblard? You cannot. It's unfortunate. All right, buddy. This is one of the first people we met in this game, if you're just tuning in. Mm -hmm. We couldn't understand him before, but maybe now. Maybe. I'd uh, use that one object. Oh, right! Yeah! What you saying for us, man? We are tougher. We're a little tougher. 
Is it backwards Japanese? That would be cool. Yeah, we'll do something about our Megazo problem. Oh. Oh. Stop doubting yourself, no! Open your heart to the seizure monster. The Megazos are part of us, though. He's right, though. Wow, this thing we hated was actually focused inward. Isn't this just like the plot of Silent Hill 2? Yeah, you fight the big Megazo at the end. Yeah. We were the Megazo all along. All you care about is that dead Megazo of yours. I'm real. Is this it? Let's get in! Are we gonna head to the last area of the game? Ah, we still need a rail pass! Oh, Yay! Thank you, Forest Man. Thank you, Burger Lad. He's always been there for us. Yeah, he has. The Burger Wicker Man. Let's go. We could be entering the end game. I think we're definitely approaching the end. Wish our fox friend could join us. Yeah. <laughs> we looped all the way back around. We could have just gone here in the first place. <laughs> what a wacky adventure this has been. We gotta go to the nest. They made a plush Megazo? I wish. Does it does it have uh, any adverse effects in real life? <laughs> if not, I'll, I'll take one. Ah, uh, there's some bullshit going on here. Angular Lapta Terra model. And this is a round one. Okay. Oh, there's crystals, too? Hold on! Tell me about all this merch, Alex. I'm at the Iblard Boutique. I'm uh, at the combination KFC and Iblard Boutique. CDs and books, postcards and books, books and books. I'm looking for... Oh my god, they do make a Megazo doll. It's $25. I'll take one. I kind of want it. Yeah, me too. Uh, it these was seem to be for the game. These seem to be slots for these uh, things we have. Yeah, it looks like this is the area where everything comes together. Yeah, for the uh, with all the stones you got. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna beat this thing. What a delightful game this is. You know, except for the seizure elephants. Yeah, it wasn't so good. Every art uh, piece of art is flawed, though. That, the flaws just make it more interesting. They add texture. It's recommended that you save here. Okay. Can do. Thank you for that. Holy shit, I can't afford this! How much is the one on eBay? You don't- do you want to know? Yes. $517, dude. <laughs> That's not so bad, considering it's- It's Ghibli, too. They're like, oh, Studio Ghibli is your shit. That's not bad, considering how obscure this game is. It's bad to me. <laughs> I wanted to pay $25 for the seizure elephant. Yeah, me too. But because it's from Ghibli, everyone's just like, whoa. Everyone's shitting their pants because it's Ghibli. 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 They're accepting offers. Okay. I will offer $5. Oh, that was easy.
can't proceed. <laughs> okay, I should get off of eBay. It's showing me the things I was looking at. Danny, have I told you my newest? Have I told you my newest obsession with cigarette-related ephemera? Oh yes, you have. Okay, good, because there are some. I, I've decided that if I do buy anything, I have to buy from cigarette brands that don't exist anymore. <laughs> it's the only ethical uh, concern. It is. It is because I don't want to advertise Camel. Just, what am I? Some kind of mainstream nerd? I want to advertise like gay cigarettes or whatever. Yeah, advertise gay cigarettes. Ooh. Uh, well, okay. What can, can we, we learn from this? There? Or is that just showing you where sharks go? I don't know. Okay. Well, maybe now that we've done this, we can insert the things. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, put that in. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, it didn't go. Oh, it'll probably have to be in order. Wait. Hmm. I don't need to use the things at all. One of these is broken. That one works. It's the fifth element now. And that one's broken too. Looks like two and four are broken. Okay. Look around some more. <laughs> Dr. Jameson's fine medicated cigarinos. <laughs> you 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 think there are. There's this one brand. Oh man, what's that? Oh, you can't no. Oh. Okay. The round one goes on the left, the uh, other one goes on the right. Okay. This might be trying to tell me something, too. Yeah, take a look in this area and see if you can't find any things to set those... Hey! <laughs> hey, so hey, hey! Hey, sorry for... No, I found one brand of cigarette that that was rebooted in the 90s to be like a, a, a leather biker cigarette, and I kind of want their merch. Because needless to say, it has a vibe to it. What do we got? That's good. Is it? It appears we've anchored some kind of sand. Palm of menthols. Thank you. <laughs> I hope there's there's sandworms in this. Okay, there's rocks here. Does that help? Hmm. Can you set the items on the rocks? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just do that in case our Megazo friend shows up. That is him. There, he's he's in there. He's in that thing. Okay. Oh man, we gotta go back to the place and figure out where to. Oh, oh. Well, maybe that one's in the right place. Okay, maybe I just got that right by accident. Yeah. I try the rest of them and see. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah? 
Oh my god, it's the biggest one ever! We gotta face it. What have I done? Well... And that's the end of me. So, we gotta go back and figure out which order to put them in, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and once you put one in, there's no going back. You gotta... You gotta live with what you've done. Gay train. That was the biggest damn Megazo I've seen in my whole freaking life. Yeah, I don't like that. This is not a true ending. Oh, we gotta go back and put the, the moon in place unless I do this. Oh, wait. You can't. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is this like further back? Is this in this area? I think it is. Get the map. I see why people were telling us to save here. Well, this is the end of the game, so... Might as well put some bullshit in there. This didn't save me any time at all. Sorry, honey. Oh yeah, I was supposed to open my heart to the giant CG yeah. elephant. But it's my self-doubt. Well, I'd rather be home taking care of my plants. Rather than off on this fantastical journey. That's fair. So what I'll do is I'll place these two here in advance. And then we gotta go back to the light room to see where to place the plants. Mm -hmm. I mean, the stones, yeah. This feels like we're about to wrap this up. This feels pretty major to me. I was gonna say, this feels like we're near the end of the game. Alright, that does that. Alex, like you ready to take some notes? Yep. I got my uh, thing open and everything. That sounded horrible. I meant notepad. I have a notepad <laughs> open. Thank you for being more specific. You're welcome. You think the Megazo watches this stream? Yeah, they're probably upset at what we've been saying about them. Yeah, probably. We have 38 more hours left. Remember when we opened the world map and thought that this was a 40 hour game? Yeah, we freaked out. Just gonna go ahead and save here. Okay, Alex, so. Okay. Um, the first Long John. is in the upper right. Okay. The mountains... Broken, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, we got some half-price Megazos. That's a steal. Okay, so the Bumble Ball is um, the lower right. Okay. I wonder if this these <laughs> abbreviations are going to make any sense to me after I go in the thing. The uh, triangle, I think, is broken. Yeah, and uh, long john number two is in the upper left. So we have positions for all of them except for the lower left. Yeah. And in the middle. Right, yeah. So what we should do is put the ones that we know in, and then save, and then try the other two. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's the smart money. Mm-hmm. Oh, but what position is this in? I guess we're just looking at it straight on. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's it. All right, so... Upper right, you've got your first long john. Upper right, first long john. Oh, man. <laughs> That's it... the thing. We will have, you know, we can try yeah. to save before. We're going to experiment. Lower right, you've got the f the flying star, a.k.a. the bumble ball. Okay. Flying star, I should say, yeah. And 
And then Long John 2 is on the upper left. Hope these are the right Long Johns. Okay, so the one we tried is a blue Long John on the left, red Long John on the right. Can you write that down? Okay. For next time. And then we just do this and the game's over, right? And then the eclair in the last place. Where do bear claws fit into this? My mouth. This is good. Oh! Well, here's the thing. We don't have the fifth one. However, it looks like we've done a good thing. Yeah. All right, where's the last thingy? Do you have the last thingy? Oh, here it comes. Yeah, just drop it off, thanks. Oh, Nina's here. Nina! I love your song about balloons. <laughs> hey. Cool flesh car. It's Nina's airship. Guess she's inside. Is this her house? No, I like this game slow pace. Oh no, is this going to have a Saturn Mansion of Hidden Souls ending? Where it just goes completely... Where it goes completely apeshit? Time to go to the airport to get the final piece. Got one more thing to do. Away we go. Bye. <laughs> How's the airship farting out there? <laughs> How is it farting out there? Badly. Hey, you leave our friends alone. Don't you, don't you, don't you fuck with our mole friend. This looks badass. Look at all these beautiful laptas. Oh, they want to kill us so bad. Oh, there are dudes in this. Uh-oh. That's my lapis lazuli. I want it. I want it! Patrol Tower. Yanni, I want it. I want the lot of pieces of wall. Yeah, me too. That was Shroomin Newman, yeah. Okay. Overseeing the Air Force. Duh! Oh boy. The sweet potatoes are here. It would be cool if this was interactive and, like, you could instantly game over. <laughs> you just want to game over. That's why I like System SACOM games. It doesn't make sense that they'd have game overs in them, but they do. If you notice, this is all real-time rendering, too. There's no yeah. there's no FMV in this, except for the, uh, the cutscenes where you're talking with the mole. That sucks. Rough landing. Guess that does it. Guess we're stuck here. Mm -hmm. I thought the game was over. 
Yeah. I still think this is the end, but... It feels like we're nearing it, yeah. The game does a good job of building upon itself. Leaves you wondering about stuff that you've seen. I'm going to be thinking about this game for a while once we've beaten it. Watch this be a massive teleporter maze. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. I can handle this. Looks like there's a big old puddle of mud in the middle of the map. I love that band. Hey, look at this. I like that. Okay. Let's find you an energy source. We're gonna Mobius this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the feet does have little. Sh uh, the the ship does have little feet like uh, Opa Opa. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it did. I don't know if I want to use these matches. They got Megazos on them. It's fine. We have to embrace it. Mm-hmm. Embrace your firebug, baby. There's an energy source. Give me that. Now, what do we use the matches for? Uh... To set your ass on fire. Uh-oh. You guys. You persistent guys. Very persistent. See, that was my strafing skills put into action. Oh, I have the freaking crystal yeah. boomerang. I don't have to put up with this. Thank you. Get rid of the bat. I gotta match your face and my ass. <laughs> I broke my boomerang. No. Oh, oh well. It's fine. It's all right. Uh-oh. Uh, now it's not okay. I don't think it's fine anymore. Oh, well. Yeah, let's go the other way. Even in these moments of action, this still feels really laid back. It does, it does. I don't suppose we can... Yeah, this looks pretty... This looks yeah. pretty bunged up. I miss my boomerang. Me too. Alex, after this stream, let's build the biggest Megazo the world has ever seen. Hey, Danny, I have a better idea. Let's never do that. I can just dodge it. Alright. Shit, where's the, uh, ship? I'll find it. Okay, we got this. <laughs> Let's crowdfund a reprint. <laughs> nice. Parts. Oh, there's this. Thing. Can you like that? Oh, yeah. you know, I bet I can. Unless... Unless you can't. Nope. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, there's a rocket! Okay. Yeah, okay, here we go. This is how we beat this guy. I bet you have to get the firework from the thing and then light it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go! I'm gonna blast your ass. This guy's gonna get his ass blasted. Take that! Asshole. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that was weird. Well, he's gone now. Ship was like, ow! Ouch, owie! Yeah, this evil empire sucks. They got two ships. One of them was taken down by a firework. Gargle, gargle? He had took down our ship with a firework. You win this one, kid. Yeah, take the take the L, dude. We killed you with a firework. We're just some guy. I respect that. Mm -hmm. I respect a bad guy who could just take the L. Yeah, we were a shitty army. We just had two ships. And we got taken down by some kid with a firework. have the last stone. With that, we can go back to our world. We can hatch a new Lapta. What do you suppose a freshly hatched Lapta looks like? Um, I don't know, but I bet it smells like cookies. Yeah, probably. Sorry, I have, I've had cookies on the brain. You're cookie-brained. Mm -hmm. We've been here. Yeah. What was that big-ass uh, flying thing? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. I see. Let's get on our dang spaceship. Get the hell out of here. We have had a lot of food talk on tonight's stream. Yeah, I've just been thinking a lot about food. No reason. Just got food on the brain. You know food? Yeah. I know food big fan of it. I don't know. Eating's a big pain in the ass. No, no, wrong. Eating is fun. I'm just not going to agree on this. Okay, fair enough. I love eating, personally. I got a yogurt the other day. God, I love eating it. I go crazy for food. A lot of food fans out there, it mm -hmm. turns out. I think I struck a nerve. I live to eat, not eat to live. <laughs> That's a good philosophy. It was not the Sclorp yogurt. It was a honey and vanilla yogurt. It's really good. I have not purchased Sclorp because it looks disgusting to me. And I do not want to eat my yogurt in a tube like the treat. I feed my cat uh, that, that tuna treat mm -hmm. in, in a tube. And like... I don't want my yogurt to be similar to the food I feed my cat. Fair. So That's I fair. don't want yogurt in the tube. We got the freaking lapis lazuli. The blah blah blah. Let's fucking go. <laughs> However you pronounce that. We've gone from hot dogs to eclairs. Everything in between. Mm -hmm. We're the entire Luby's buffet, baby. I miss Luby's. They still exist. Do they? Yeah. Let's go to Luby's. Okay. Let's be 80, 80 years old. So let me see. Is there a Luby's? Luby's is a Texas brand cafeteria here uh, throughout Texas. To know Texas, you have to understand Luby's and you have to understand HEB. There's H -E -B. only two Luby's in Austin now? Yeah, they closed down a lot of them. I thought oh. they went bankrupt too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's do this. Gryffindors, get your brooms! <laughs> Bam! 
and Alex indeed. Is that you, Burger Lad? Yeah, you know what? Why don't we why don't we save? save? Why don't we go ahead and drop a save state? We found our broom. But do we have to use it? Should we instead embrace our inner Megazo? Who's this? Who's making that noise? Which one of you in chat is doing that? Cut it out. Oh, they stopped. Maybe it's through the mountain? Maybe. It's the dino I tried to kill back for revenge. Fair enough. this again. Oh! 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 Hey! Hey! Hey, friend. You wanna join me? Let's go. Let's go put the old lapis lazuli on the last pedestal. Well, we're not gonna do it alone. That's nice. I've tried to kill it before. That ended really badly. <laughs> that thing has a mom, a very angry mom. You. Okay, what's the play here? I'm going to broom it. If you're just joining us, this is the seizure elephant. This thing creates rapidly flashing lights whenever you approach it. Oh, that was easy. I was gonna say, I don't know if that's considered opening our heart, but that's as close as we're gonna get. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys. Guys. Embrace it. Okay, all right. We can do this. <laughs> okay well don't do that don't open your heart you have to actually not open your heart you gotta remain cold hearted maybe this little buddy wants to go somewhere that's what I'm thinking maybe yeah free the little buddy we got embraced we, uh, we enjoyed the sweet embrace of death What if I use the broom on the buddy? Nothing. Yeah, nothing doing. Can you place anything on those two uh, things? No, okay. Yeah, what's this for, come to think of it? Mm hmm. Hmm. You're gonna follow Yeah, maybe me? the first one is a test, and that's the one you run into. Like, the first uh, Meg Megazord you run into. Really? Yeah. Is that guy not following you? Okay. Maybe we need a watermelon. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. If you're just joining us, these dinosaurs love watermelon. Can we visit the house again? Yeah, let's try. Anything in the house? Maybe there's a nice, delicious melon on the table. Okay, never mind. This won't work. Good idea, though. Anybody got any watermelon? Please? It's summer, come on, you gotta have some. There's a dinosaur here. You know, they, they love watermelon. Watermelons are so good. They are. I know I mentioned that earlier in stream, but... God. Okay, so, with this current progress, we've, uh... Unlocked the buddy. We're approaching the, uh, the last end-game portion here. 
Yeah, like freaking... Um... It's okay, it's gonna be here. Don't broom it. Embrace it. Yeah, alright. Okay. I'm gonna Sorry, embrace Annie. it. Everybody close your eyes. I'm embracing it. It's not working! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe now that uh, we've made the, the Megazo up here, maybe something will happen with the buddy. Yeah, let's try that. I was thinking that. Also, boost your health after the first Megazo. The thing is, your health drains very quickly when you mm -hmm. go in the middle of the, the Megazo field. What's your... What's... What's... Oh, it's cute! It's really cute. I didn't see the eye before. Aww. I guess you don't have the wind boomerang anymore, do you? No. Can you give the dinosaur the Solma Stone? I'm, I'm just... I'm just like... Trying everything here. No. You want a lapis lazuli? These are like twin pedestals for watermelons. <laughs> I could just tell. I'm gonna activate these switches again. Yeah, yeah, let's see if it does something different. So we already solved this puzzle, but... Yeah. Maybe worth looking over it again. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it does the same shit. Good to know, though. What about the broken ones? They still broken? Yeah. Darn. Hmm, I don't think there's much, any other places we can go on this island. I'm sure the solution will present itself. Mm -hmm. The only other thing I could think of is to let the guy drain your health, and then maybe that unlocks something. Like that first guy. The that's first guy? That's literally the only thing I can think of at this point. Like, puzzle wise. So I would definitely save. Alright, I can't in good conscience show you this, so I'll just run okay. into the I'll run into the elephant and take the hit. The screen is rapidly flashing in a most unpleasant way right now. God, I can see it through my eyelids even though my eyes are yeah, closed. Okay. We did it. And it kills you. That's what embracing your inner self-doubt gets here. Oh, hail Magambo, what is the solution? Yeah, tell me the solution. We, we need the solution. I felt big-brained enough to beat the rest of this game. It's something with the dino, right? It's gotta be something with him. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What was that stone? Turn around. Other way. Yeah, in the corner. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that, that stone. This one? What? It's, oh. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> there's okay, something there's in something the room there. with the There being where. There's a lot of theirs. It's in the room with the dino. Okay, let's go. Look around. I'm... Hmm. Can you go through the dino's door? Okay. No. Oh, I'm so close to getting it, I can just tell. Mm-hmm. All hail Megazo. Yeah. Maybe in the area with the Megazo there's something you can find? Maybe. That's what I'm thinking they meant. <laughs> you were wrong! I'll forgive you this time. Okay, we already have. All right, tell me, tell me the actual the solution. Room. Yeah. Okay, so there's something in here. Uh, 
Oh. Oh! Give him the stone! I see. Give him the Solma stone. I knew it! Didn't I say this was the solution? Interesting. I told you this was the so Oh my god! That's so cool that it was on the ceiling. I would have never seen that. What a great game this is. There's so little stuff to explore in this area that I'm sure I would have found that eventually. Thank you for the help, Magambo. Thank you. Yeah, I would have never thought of to look there. Alright, let's rush this guy and give him the stone. Alright, let's do it. Uh... Take it. Take it, you freak. Take it and leave us alone. Yeah, give him a Chaos Emerald. We're doing it. We're embracing our inner self-doubt by giving it jewelry. This is just the plot to the Pretty Pretty Princess board game. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. I kind of want a plush Megazone now. Well, fork out five hundred dollars. There's so there's so little system sack on merchandise out there. We did it. It's 170 on Mercari. That's I gotta look up look that up. God that frog. I like the frog. <laughs> hey. Let's fucking go, you should say. Yeah, probably a good call. Yeah. We didn't shoot away. I like that it lets you shoot away. Mm -hmm. I like that, because it did tell you you have to embrace your inner self-doubt. Oh, this time it didn't summon the million Megazos. Yeah, yeah. I can just, I can just win the game now. Do it. Is this GG? Please be GG. You'll make me one for four hundred ninety dollars. Let's go. Okay. We do. Yeah, there there are people out there who professionally make flush plushes. I was gonna say it probably would be cheaper to commission a plush. Not a bad idea, actually. We should commission a Rolo plush. <laughs> no, really, I want I want a Rolo to to cheer me on. It should have a little squeaker inside. Oh, that would suck. Megazos all around. This round's on me, boys. <laughs> Finally, we have FMV. Here it comes. The Lopta was hatched. It's... it's beautiful. It's a triangle. I guess it's fine. I'm sorry. I'm it's a Lopta, Alex. Sorry! We spent our whole lives in search of this. Cool. Lopta gender reveal party. <laughs> See you later, suckers. Here we fucking go. Thanks for the laid back, pleasant adventure, dipshits. I enjoyed myself, assholes. <laughs> By the way, what's your name, kid? It's Anthony. I am just waiting for something to tie all the games together. Mm -hmm. Hey! We made it back! We did it! Back in the human realm. Back to our plant-filled house. Who needs friends when you got plants? More plants! Yeah, yeah! More plants! Reclaim society! Ah! Cool. Is this good? Uh, I'm going to go with yes, because I want to live in this apartment building. What did we do? 
You made it like this. Like this. And I got this cool plane. The end. Fuck yeah, we did it. You beat a game. That was amazing. What a great game. System Sacom never disappoints. This, this might be my favorite System Sacom game. I know my emotions are still running high, but man. That was so smooth. Everything was so intuitive. Even that last puzzle felt really satisfying. It was a nice, smooth game. It worked well. I, fuck me, I have no, I have, I have nothing to say. A great video game. I'd say this is above, uh, come to think of it, Lunacy was pretty good. This might be on par with Lunacy for me. And then the Mansion games are beneath that. Well, I like this. Whenever they translate the next uh, System SACOM game, we'll be there to play it. Mm -hmm, <laughs> That's mm -hmm. our guarantee at this point. Might as well call us the System SACOM pals. Honestly, that would be a pretty good, uh, that would be pretty slick for us to just ship to that. I think so. Yeah. Who else is going to do it? All right, it's because RMJ got a translation that they were able to translate this one. So nice. the technology driving these fan translations is evolving really rapidly. That's awesome, actually. I appreciate that because I, I like being able to play games like this. Yeah, it used to be you barely saw any of these games in English. PS1 translations were a rarity, and now shit like um, uh, Boku no Natsu Yasumi is getting translated soon, the second one. I want to play that one. That game looks good. Yeah, RMJ is a PlayStation and Sega Saturn adventure game, which is from these developers. It's also completely insane. It's highly recommended. We played through it on our uh, YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's R question mark MJ. <laughs> it's never explained in game what that means. You have to read the novelization to find out what RMJ means. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Love you, System Sacom. Hmm. I gotta find out more of this uh, artist's work. Mm -hmm. On Twitter, someone linked to me a, a, a CD-ROM full of this artist's work, full of all the... It's basically like a compilation of all of his work with the world of Iblard. Oh, nice. Which, as I mentioned before, is this one surrealist artist's uh, world that he made. All of his work reflects on that and uh, builds on it. Man. I think more avant-garde studios should pair up with avant-garde artists and make really cool games. I agree. I want this for everything, not just for the Iblis. Thank you, System Satcom. They get the last credit. Hmm. That was delightful. That game went down smooth and had a fresh aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> Also, we drank it, I guess. I was going to say it's delicious. Congratulations. Congratulations! We did it. End of video game. It says exit, but also, okay. Let's have a look at the gallery. Oh, cool. It's more of their art. Hey. Oh, look, it's the dinosaur. Yeah. I want to live there. I want to live there. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's a little dangerous looking. <laughs> Gravity Rush is another there game. Uh, yeah, this I'll game also there. reminded me of Gravity Rush. Just the fact that there's all these floating islands and there's flight involved. Oh! Hey! I know this. That. Yeah. That's where they hatched the Lopta. Now we know. This is almost certainly a copyright risk. I'm taking it. Let's okay. enjoy this. No, 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 no! no. no. Oh, phew. <laughs> it's
it is really cool they made a game based off this art. Yeah, all this art existed in the first place, and then they handed it to System Sacom to turn it into a game, and that rules. There is no better company they could have contracted this out to. Yeah, if this is an AVEX track, uh, it's gonna get flagged. <laughs> so maybe cut this out of the YouTube archive. Okay. Yeah, the, the Super Nintendo game with the novelist guy. Yeah, that's very similar to this. I want to play that too. That's it. Ihatovo Monogatari. Put baby elephant walk over the sea. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to look at baby elephants ever again. Retro Pals are moving to Iblard. Okay. What's rent like there? Uh, it's free. Oh, okay. You just have to not fall off. Hmm, I am afraid of heights. And Megazone phone straps, too. Oh, that's cool. Remember the part where we were jumping from island to island? That, that felt really ambitious for a first-person system did. SATCOM game. It worked really well. Whoa, what are you? That's who those things are! We never got to see one up close. Saw plenty of these up close. I hate them. Wow. Well, that was lovely. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us for this lovely experience. I'm not sure what I learned, but I'm pretty sure I grew as a person, and uh, hopefully you did too. Face the self-doubt within you. Face the Megazo. You can conquer it, and you can become all that you uh, can be. In the, uh, not in the army, don't join. <laughs> be all you can be with the Megazo, not yeah. with the U.S. Army. <laughs> yeah, that's our opinions. Oh, nice! Thanks everybody for watching. That was magnificent. Thank you so much to all of our patrons who voted to play uh, Iblard this week. Yeah, thank you. made you. the right choice. You definitely made the right choice. You could never go wrong with System Satcom, but uh, I'm glad our patrons uh, actually solidified it and made us play this. If you want to join in the fun, head to patreon.com slash retropals. Uh, we put up patron polls most every Friday, and you get to decide what we play every single Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Today was Iblard. It was Iblard time, baby. It was, it was a hell of a day. I'm, I'm going to be thinking about that game for a long time. Okay, I'm going to look for a raid target. Alex, why don't you wrap us up? We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is a look at the Super Solver series. So if you want to see me play uh, all kinds of Super Solver games, do check that one out. I play every single one. Yes, every single one. I play like a game through each of them, too. So it's the, well worth the look. Oh, and thank you for the Megazo Museum link. We also have a Discord. Let me just drop that in the chat. Boom. Uh, you can join us there to chat more about games, discuss uh, other things going on in the world of retro games, and, uh, you know, post your cat pics, which you do a lot, and I love. I love all your cats so much. Oh, my God. I'm kissing them all on the head. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, every cat that goes through our Discord gets a virtual kiss on the head, so that's just a bonus of being in our Discord. All right, hang on a second. Okay. Our friend Seb Mall. Is having a birthday today. Happy hey, birthday, Semmel. Happy birthday, Semmel. Why don't we go in there and wish him a happy birthday, maybe pitch into his birthday fund. And yeah, he's been doing a lot of good stuff today. He's been reading old Game Pros. The Game Pro editors really, really took it to people writing into the magazine. They had a chip on their shoulder. They'd always be arguing with these teenagers. It was really funny. So enjoy that. Have a good rest of your evening. Keep thinking about Ilblard. We'll see you later. See ya, folks. <laughs>